What's going on guys? Welcome back to the Kicks Reasons channel. For today we have another exciting Reebok model. Just newly and very quietly released. We have the Reebok Kinetica Edge. This is the Zig Kinetica Edge. Very, very under the radar release from Reebok. I was not even aware of these coming out. Uh, just happened to be on the site and look it up. Saw them and I immediately got them. First of all, box, kind of new. This is actually the first kind of a new model, new age model Reebok for me since, I don't know, maybe more than 10 years that actually I can see a different box. That's why I'm surprised. It's a little bit uh, unorthodox for me since I'm buying pretty much only classics and, uh, you know, retros, but this one is new. So this is the first model I've purchased for a long, long time that it's kind of a new technology plus new design plus new everything. Um, but what really triggered me to buy this one is what reminded me of. So this model reminded me of the mid 90s model that was kind of the same kind of an outdoors, uh, track outdoor, a model called the Mud Dodger. Uh, those of you that follow me on Instagram, you probably saw the pictures, very, very similar. I think some of the cues in this model maybe are taken out of this one, which is great. But this is a completely new design and of course he's using uh, Reebok's new cushioning technology which is the float ride and it's just encapsulated into this zig cage which let me see if I can get you closer. The pink inside is the actual float ride and the orange outside cage is just a harder rubber that contains that softer uh, ETPU compound for the float ride. So actually comfort wise, you know, I can say right away, they're excellent. I put them on feet and this is kind of my first encounter with this set, specific setup. I don't have the original uh, Zig Kinetica that released what, a couple months ago, maybe six months ago. I like it, but it was not something I was really going after, especially for the full retail price. These ones are 130 retail. Um, I had 30% off, so I used that. Uh, brought them down uh, significantly um, under $100. So this is how I like to purchase all my sneakers. Uh, some people might call me cheap, but this is how I am. If you buy as much as you, I am, every dollar counts and every coupon and every discount that you can find. So back to these. Let's go over the things that I really, really like. Um, so first thing first, the fit is great, super comfortable, super nice. You don't have to even lace them. They have these uh, kind of uh, elastic bungees that you pull and just strap with uh, this lace lock on the top So we very very easy to put on no problem at all uh, Super comfortable. There's no pinching anywhere in the front. No discomfort in the toe box simply because this is all mesh, you know, this is uh, uh, Fabric so it really doesn't matter that much containment wise very little tiny details that I really really like as well is like on the front here this is reflective this board on top of the toe box and unfortunately I don't think the light will pick it up but uh, you'll see on some of the shots that I did close by there's small inspirational uh, written up things uh, but in the front it says uh, Reebok Outdoor and some of you that know the Reebok Outdoor was a big, big line back in the early 90s to kind of mid 90s uh, that Reebok was making a lot of push with these outdoor runners, hikers and all kinds of shoes I really liked. Uh, and on the side here on the back side where this strap, the pink strap is, uh, it just says fortune favors the risk. So again, very, very nice inspirational uh, write ups here. Uh, some of you might think that this uh, mesh over here where the lacing system is is actually perforated all the way through for breeding but it's not it's just made for looks and underneath it's still the same black mesh that you can see but again i'm not expecting these to be uh, too hot since it's it's all fabric you know after all now, one thing that I was not aware or i didn't pay uh, attention too much maybe when i was getting them uh this little label right here it's water repellent surface so i'm curious to see how water repellent there will be i'm actually going to test that and show it to you guys i'm going to pour some water on top of them see if any of the water will go through um, but uh, it's definitely worth testing it's something I'm gonna, I'm gonna check out for sure uh, and another kind of interesting touches here on the back you see the pull tab as Reebok and there's a tiny Reebok on the bottom but if you pull this way down and kind of flows back and you can pull it back up 
and goes back in so that's kind of an interesting thing it's not really functional but it's it's kind of cool to see and in the back we have zig right there written down on the heel hopefully you can see it uh, so when you pull them out of the box they actually look huge um, i thought i ordered a different size when i pulled them out i was like man that looks like it's size 10 maybe uh, but you got to factor all the extra rubber protruding on the back and the front and all that stuff otherwise this is my regular eight and a half size when you're buying go with your true size um, i wouldn't recommend high of going up or down because they, it's, it's just perfect size for me i think uh width wise and length wise they fit actually great uh production days in these are june of 2020 so just super recently a couple months ago they they made them um and quietly released them like i mentioned i don't know why there was no more advertisement about this shoe because it's it's really exciting to me at least i, I like it a lot uh, let me pull the insole out nothing special about it just a regular foam insole uh, but it's pretty thick and nice and I really like what they did with the vector giant vector inside and it just says edge works It's really cool And this little touch over here with the vector logo kind of a uh, gray extra support on your lateral side I'm assuming it's functional if you're really using them for running, a, you know uh, cross-country tracks out outdoors, uh, but I kind of like how it looks uh, for me These are gonna be predominantly, you know lifestyle. So I really don't plan to run with them but as being a modern day sneaker i'm assuming that's what they're for and another thing to mention the heel is kind of a, a not reinforced so all you have on the back is this uh rubber this gray rubber that's going to be supporting uh, your heel kind of putting it in place so keep in mind you really have to lace them tight you know pull these really really hard if you want a good containment otherwise your, your heel is a little bit uh, sloppy there it's gonna go in and out uh, so again uh, in in inner liner is very slick maybe that's part of the deal uh, I don't know if the camera will see it but it's kind of a fabric that it's extremely extremely slick and maybe that's one of the reasons but uh, regardless of that I think as a lifestyle for me they're gonna be perfect we have another vector logo on the ton and again, it's not a complete separate uh, free ton. The only separation is kind of here on the top. You will see right here, this is where it ends. And at the bottom, it's all connected in one piece. So it's kind of like one piece upper, so to speak, when you, when you think of it. But I think sideways, the colorway is great. They have another colorway, which is kind of lighter. Uh, the upper is kind of uh, not off white, but you will say like light gray, would you think? Uh, for me, this colorway was better. I really like the combination of black, orange, and this pink hints. So it's super, super nice. And the uh, outsole, it's super rugged with these uh, very big, uh, exaggerated uh, traction. You can see how it is. Super interesting. And just like those original 90s shoes were, you know, for people that were going cross country uh, tracking and stuff like that super nice it kind of fits into the today's uh, you know modern style uh, shoes in my mind same goes extends all the way to uh, even the toe lip in the front so yeah super comfortable you guys are gonna see them on feet uh, i'm super excited uh, to get these especially uh, for the price you know i paid about 80 some dollars um, not gonna ever uh, advise anybody buying a full retail sneaker so uh, probably wait a little bit and get them on sale or if you get any uh, coupons to lower that price down but all in all i think they're very comfortable they look great uh, and i'm gonna put them on feet all the time to kind of see how the long-term comfort will be on that uh, uh, specific cushioning because like i said i'm not super familiar with that specific uh, cushioning from reebok but i know a lot of people like it a lot uh and maybe they're onto something interesting thing on the bottom there's another uh, written up information it says trail approved well hopefully it's trail approved because they are tailored and advertised as a trail runner shoe so um you would expect there would be trail approved <laughs> but anyway yeah i definitely like them that's pretty much it man they're they're not the lightest i can tell you that they're pretty heavy but with the amount of rubber they put on the outsole and on that zig cage you kind of expect them to be not super light so um if you're looking for a lot super light sneaker that's not definitely it 
but they're good looking and they're very comfortable and very stable for one thing if you see and yeah that's pretty much it guys really like these i hope you like them too uh hit the thumbs up if you like the video stay tuned to the channel subscribe if you're new next ones will be a ton of different vintage reebok sneakers all of you will be super happy with those uh, i have a couple nike models as well so you guys are gonna check them all out until next time guys as always you have a wonderful day